Hello, this is Steve Herman, author of Mediumship Mastery, The Ultimate Guide, available on Amazon. And I'm going to be talking with you today about a particular technique and a particular approach to working with the spirit world when you're working with your mediumship that will substantially enhance and expand what you're doing as a medium in terms of potential accuracy and really allowing yourself to more completely and more fully express the individuals in the spirit world who are communicating through you. Doesn't that sound like a good thing? Because as mediums, we want to be the best possible instruments. We want to be the best possible modes of expression for those personalities in the spirit realms to be able to convey accurate communications through us. So many people who study mediumship don't always feel comfortable with working with the spirit world. So many people I've seen over the years, and I've been involved in teaching mediumship now for decades, studying and practicing it for even longer, and I've seen just about everything in terms of what blocks that people potentially have. And many times, people keep the spirit people who they might be working with at a distance. You know, the grandmother is there, She's at arm's length. Oh, I don't want her getting too close. And it's okay. You can, you can keep them at an arm's length when you're working, and you can describe all these things about them quite intimately. But what I would like to suggest to you, and this is what we're going to be getting into in this video briefly, I want to suggest to you as a medium, whether you're a student medium, or maybe you're even doing this you know, professionally, or you, you, you're experienced, you've been doing it for a while, to allow those in the spirit world to come in even closer, really closer to you. Not everyone feels comfortable with that. Oh my gosh, the temperature has changed. It's gotten all warm all of a sudden. Oh, it's all icy cold all around me. Well, all that's pretty normal. Actually, the closer they get to you, the better. But a lot of mediums, they get into this. And, and what happens? Well, they focus completely on clairvoyance. Oh, I've got to be able to see the deceased communicators in the spirit world. I've got to be able to see them, discern them visually, within my mind, with the clairvoyance, describe them accurately. I've got to get symbolic messages, literal messages. Of course, if they're symbolic, I'm going to translate them or interpret them. So that, that's all good. But what can take place a lot of times within the cultivation of the various mediumistic phases is that people, it's almost like they have these blinders on. I want to be clairvoyant. But what we want to do is we want to focus a little bit more on the clairsentience, on the feeling, on the sensing. So, a very simple exercise. This is very simple. And those of you who are sitting in a circle, whether it's online or in actually physically present with other people, or if you're doing readings, you can practice this. If you're doing platform work, demonstration, even if you're working with healing, you can do this. What I want you to do, you know, you're working, you've attuned yourself, you've prayed, you've opened up, right? Your attunement is there with the spirit world, and you can feel that connection back of the neck, back of the head. You can feel that sense that link that's there mentally and energetically between you and those in the spirit world. What I want to suggest, this is very simple, is to allow those in the spirit world to draw very close to you. Not an arm's length. No, let them come even closer. Allow their energies, allow their personality to blend with your energy and with your mind. And what you can do as you're allowing this to take place, just be aware of your own hands. And we have hands, and the hands can tell you so much about the communicator who's coming through from the world of the spirit. And as you're allowing them to come very close to you from the spirit world, it's very simple, instantaneous, when you open up and let this happen. Just let them blend with you and share the space with them. And be aware of your own hands. Really be aware of your hands mentally, but also 
what you're feeling, what you're sensing within your own hands. Because as you're aware of your own hands, you may be aware of very petite hands that are there. You will be aware of the hands of the communicator who's coming through from the spirit world. Are the hands worn and calloused from work? Maybe there are certain rings that may be of great significance that that particular spirit happens to be wearing, and you'll feel those rings on your own fingers. Some cases, I remember one time in Iceland, I had someone come through years ago. I'm, this particular spirit was missing a couple fingers. And you'll feel that. You'll feel it as you're aware of your own physical hands, that some of your fingers are missing. As the hands of the spirit communicator blend with yours, you may even feel within the hands of the spirit who's blending with you, who's joining their mind and energy with yours. They may be holding something in their hands. Maybe it's a gift of significance for the recipient of the communication. And they could be holding some flowers. Wouldn't that be nice? But they might be holding some other type of object. And if they are holding some type of object, what does this object mean? What's, what does it signify? So just within the hands, so much accurately can be conveyed in terms of providing evidence of survival and the reality of life after death so much evidence can be conveyed that completely validates and demonstrates the reality of the survival of the personality after the destruction of the physical body. So I want you to think about this. Don't keep anyone in the spirit world at a distance. I mean, when you're working with this, it's all planned out by those in the spirit world. Your team works with you. And they'll allow the individual communicators, whether it's someone's grandmother whether it's someone's uncle, even someone's guide. But just experiment the next time you're working with the hands. And I want you to feel free you know, to add your comments to, uh, below this video. You know, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. You know, but, but share your experiences. Also, please you know, subscribe. The more subscriptions, the better. I'm, I'm really into the whole teaching type of aspect. I want to reach as many people as possible. I teach a lot of online courses, a lot of in-person courses worldwide. And I do have my book, Mediumship Mastery, which is excellent. It's very, very, very good for teaching mediumship, for learning mediumship. Lots of exercise. It's used worldwide that way. So I want to thank all of you, and God bless each and every one of you.